Hi guys, welcome to the Rods 2000. I'm at peak rate in 1963, and I, I'm getting like so, so close. I, I don't know how to feel about this, but I'm going to try not to overthink it. It's just another game of chess. We just play the position. Okay. Get close to that 2000 mark. I don't know what I'm going to do in my life afterwards, guys, because it's my whole identity. I mean, I'm going to have a crisis. All right. Come on. I love these positions. Hit me. Hit me with a Stafford, baby. Come on. I know these lines. Uh, it's this. Yeah. Yeah, I know this because you're trying to stop the knight coming in and then you extra try and stop the knight coming in. And then you try and do this. And you can castle into it. <laughs> but it's... Uh... <laughs> uh... I don't want to. I actually prefer this move, guys, as silly as this looks. I I hate castling into the Stafford. I know this isn't theory, but this is how I, I find it easier to play. Because um, otherwise the knight comes in and they try and open up the rook, and it's it's awful. I'd rather just defend this square. And the king's very safe there. Uh, up a pawn. So obviously I'm just trying to trade pieces and get into an end game against this very, very dynamic opening. Uh, so this, kicking the queen now. And I feel like I'm making progress. Get some pieces out. Queen here, I'm just going to expand. The queen's not got loads of squares. Can I do this? If takes, takes. I think I probably can. This is one of the big girls playing against the Stafford. To get this structure and block off the dark square bishop is huge in this opening. So if I can get this and it works. So this, the only counterplay is this. If takes, they could go takes, takes, and I don't see that they've got a fork with the knight or anything like that. So I'm going to go for this. What if they sack the bishop? I just take with the queen. I'm happy. Let's block off the bishop. I'm at, sort of pausing a little bit because I'm playing a lot of pawn moves, I, I know. Uh, so <laughs> As I go to make another pawn move. But, you know, this, this could be alright, actually. This, and he jumps in. This. I, maybe I'll just develop. Um, if I can get the dark square bishop out, I can then develop the knight here. So let's get this out, just with a simple goal of trading pieces. Although, yeah, this is this pawn's hanging. That's why I was thinking this. Uh, so, uh, push then. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come on. Let's send it, guys. <laughs> All pawn moves. This is a big red flag. That's why I'm uncomfortable. This many pawn moves against this much of a developed position is uh, very scary. So this, I've got a loose bishop, and there might be tactics, but I don't want to move the same piece twice. So maybe just this. If he takes, I'm happy. It opens my rook. And now my position's starting to look a bit more solid, I think. Like I'm up a pawn. I've got a nice structure. Maybe this is coming, to which this bishop move actually adds a little bit of support. Yeah, he takes, but I, I actually thought this looked nice for me because my center's really solid. Uh, I mean, this, this, no, just this. I think that's fine. I think this is coming. I can do this, but I probably shouldn't. I should probably develop uh, this, and I'm just worried about this move. If here, takes, takes... I think I'm getting away with it. So he defends this pawn, which I don't think should have been his priority. I think he should have smashed the center while my king's still in the center. Uh, and I think this just... Unclogging. This and then... Or this. I think this, just to defend the center, open my queen back up. It, I I realize these moves look really slow, but I am 
I, I am trying to defend this square. Uh, this now? I mean, offering a trade. The bishop on this square, what is it doing? If they come there, I can come back with the bishop. If I take, maybe queen takes pawn. So I'll take with a rook here. I mean, I can start to lift the rook. Or I can just offer a trade. So for a trade, if he takes, I'm always developing something. I'm either lifting the rook, you know, developing the rook, or developing the queen there. So I'm happy. So he's trying to repeat moves. Pathetic. <laughs> right. Right, this. Uh, there's an alignment issue with the dark squares to the king, but this bishop's never getting round there. So let's just start to double the rooks. For this, he's got this, but I could always come back. If ever a pawn's there, but yeah, I think the queen's safe on this square. Defending the center, queen holding everything. And now, is it worth it, guys, to win this pawn? Is it worth the pressure that the Stafford puts on you? And the time that I've used as a result? I don't know if it is worth it, honestly. But I know I'm better if I can get out this opening, get castled, trade some pieces. This, this, without hanging the, the knight, could be good. Maybe even this. Or this. They go back. Let's just get castle. Let's not think about cracking the center just yet. I don't know why they're not playing this move here. It's, it's ridiculous to me. If this, I just take it. So I don't know what this bishop move does. Uh, let's get castled. Look at that. Look how much better that position looks. With the rook supporting the queen. Rook here, maybe? Uh, I can double the rooks, or I can... I need to play some quick moves, to be honest, guys. Like, this is... just don't want to get low on time. Come on, come on. Only down a pawn. Yeah, there's the move. This he takes. So I could just step the queen off any issues. Queen here. Queen looks a bit trapped. Queen here then. I in this square. Undouble the pawns. We'll take with a knight. I mean, probably just the structural thing is best. Keep the structure solid. If he lodges in, I wasn't too worried about that, to be honest, because then his attack... Can he attack me there? I don't feel like he can, but... This, this... And I might actually win that pawn, to be honest, because quite a lot of pressure on it. How do you even defend this pawn? I don't think he can. Okay, this. This, but bishop always defends. So this targeting the weak pawn. This, this. Can I take this? Uh... Maybe just here. I don't think I even want to take this pawn. Triple up. No, the, uh, probably doesn't matter. Let's just make a move. This and this. We need to trade off pieces. I'm down on time. Come on. This looks good, but <sighs> my queen's hit again. And, you know, so this, this. The queen's not getting trapped, right? Got this square here. We come back. This guy is so annoying. All right, so this, I guess. Well, this. If this, push. Yeah, this this guy is just just annoying. This is typical 
like if you play the Stafford, no offense, but this is so typical Stafford players. They just they're annoying. <laughs> they're annoying. They try for all these little tricks, and when you when you take take them out of their fun zone, you get castled, you get developed, you win their pawn. They they're just annoying. They hate it. <laughs> Right. But they probably think I'm annoying for being all defensive and solid. And I think I'm just winning this pawn. And this should be hugely winning. Once I win this, because then this pawn falls. And I can even just take a rook. If they bring a rook, I can take it, because my queen has so much backup. And this is starting to look really nice. Uh, and I can't actually see much counterplay. Like the queen can't attack because of this pawn chain. I think they need to throw this in or just go mental at me now. Disconnected? Oh no, I'm disconnected. No, no. I'm just reconnecting my internet, guys. Come on, please. <laughs> please. It's saying no internet. It's saying no internet. No. Oh, come on, internet. Oh, it's saying connected. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I've just burnt loads of time. No, no. At this then, trying to trade? Yeah? He's moving his queen around. I'm low on time. Please don't disconnect again. <laughs> that was so stressful. Ah, come on. Oh, I'm against a weaker opponent, so if I lose, I lose 10 points. This would be... Dramatic. And just any trades are good for me, I think. I'm up two pawns, so he's going to maybe try avoid trades, but he can't. He can't avoid trading this. I do open up a line for my king, maybe. I think I can take that. I don't think this is too bad. He's thinking about it. He's thinking, can I come in? I mean, hmm, this then? Hitting the queen, winning a bit of tempi. Seems good. Rook defends pawn, of course. Oh, but he's got a check. Okay, this. And am I winning this pawn? Move like this looks good. If this rook defends, so I can win this. I'm trying to win this pawn now. Uh, this, this, this. No, there's no need to ruin this lovely structure I've got in the center, I don't think. Let's just keep it solid. Uh, we can end this pawn slightly, but it's still got this lovely e3 pawn defending it. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. Up two pawns. Trade, trade, trade. Now I saw this move because I'm targeting some stuff and reigniting the threat of rook takes and I'm winning more pawns. I've just got to be careful with my king, honestly. That's all I've got to do. This, this isn't a threat. I just take. I don't know what that move does here. Uh, this, this, I mean this. Run out of check. Oh, he's targeting this pawn. Okay. I just defend that pawn. Uh, I'm taking. I'm, wow! Well, uh, play a move. Play a move. Two minutes left. Not the best move, guys, but I've just got to play some moves. So maybe he defends this pawn. Maybe I come here. I'm always winning this one. It's more just I don't want to allow any counterplay. I want to keep the position really, really simple for me. He's got three minutes. He's got like just like double my time. So this, this, this. He goes back rank. I come here. He goes here. I go here. He gets loads of checks. On passant. But then rook over. This rook over, this takes, this check. <laughs> I, I mean, let's try it. 
this now? No, same issue though, isn't it? Uh, I need to get rid of this queen. Let's kick it. Let's get the queen out of my territory and then I can think straight. It's just taking too much of my time calculating all the different checks and stuff. So this pawn might fall, but I'm just going to try gobble now. It's better to be active, even if I lose a pawn. As long as I don't allow too much counterplay. This is going to get it's going to get tight. Okay. This, if this, just queen takes. Does that look solid? No, no. Uh, this then, no. Uh, this then. It's defending the base, but then the queen gets in again, and I get this. And I think that's solid enough. I just need them to trade, but they're not gonna. So I do this. Oh, if they trade queens, they win a pawn. Uh, this then. Just trying to find the solid looking moves, guys. With one minute left. <laughs> the quality of play is going to deteriorate now, so watch out. Wait, is this forced to trade a queens? Does it? Where can he go? He can't move. Yes! He shouldn't have thrown in that check. This is the Stafford Gambit player's weakness. They're just so obsessed with little checks that they're just pathetic. <laughs> right, we've traded queens. Nice. Okay, got that. Now my winning chances have just gone way up. I think I was going to get timed out before, honestly. Uh, this. This. You can target this pawn if he wants. Uh, just this. Okay. I want to defend this just because then if he takes, at least I trade some rooks. Uh, this then? What? Oh, I see. He's trying to uh, do a tactic. I don't care. I'm just going to take. Yeah, do a tactic. This, this. Still win that though, right? I'm still fine. Uh, I mean, just simply push. 38 seconds. That just improves my king. Classic Stafford player. That just makes my king even stronger. Thank you. Centralize my king due to your <laughs> due to your immature check there. There's a check, but I just improve my king. Uh, this then. Gobble. I mean. This threatening mate, <laughs> and he checks me. Oh, oh, now he's threatening mate, boy. Sorry, guys, I'm not normally this cocky. It's just against these players that check you all the time and trying to attack you. It just it annoys me. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I'll just take everything. And again, he's trying to be tricky. He throws in a check. I go here. Yep. Predictable. Push in. And here, and I'm building the bridge. No more checks. There we go. No more checks. 15 seconds. <sighs> Come on. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Come on, guys! Fucking, I hate that type of player. I hate them so much. <laughs> They're so annoying, Stafford players. I just, yeah. Like and subscribe if you don't play the Stafford. I, I just...
<laughs> yeah. Cheers.